talk just like that. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 I, no, I didn't say it. No, no, I didn't say it. I know you always say it. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's Nobili Tambani from Top Trader, South Africa, and we bring you guys another installment of Industry Chats Podcast. I'm not sitting alone, I'm sitting with my amazing co-host. MJ Givens Khasi, your next future president, president of the forum, president of the country. Yes, net ganjado, net ganjado, just like that. Yeah, so guys, uh, welcome to another episode today where we sit down with um, industry players and we discuss all things pertaining to the financial markets and yeah and last week we had a really interesting episode we spoke about the state of the industry uh a little bit we touched on it i mean yeah. there's so much is wrong there's so much is not right yeah and i think today's episode is going to be really interesting uh if you guys can see we've got mr no name yeah we've got mr no name in the mr. building <laughs> yeah. yeah so we we're really excited for this uh today uh He's come disguised, uh, and you guys know when it's like this. Yeah, ha. names are coming out. <laughs> <laughs> names get, are coming out. It's what you guys always ask for. Like literally, people are always asking for, "Hey guys, can you please have names?" Things like that. Yeah, and all that. And I think uh, today uh, we're gonna try and give you guys that. But before we get into that, MJ, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing okay. I'm not alone today. I've got a special guest in the studio. Yes. Yes, yeah, I've got my wife here today. Mm, 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 mm. So when I'm behaving, guys, please bear with me. Just know that <laughs> she's here. She's here. She's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, we've got yeah. MJ's not. We, you guys know, and everyone knows her every week. You're always talking about somehow he only sneaks you into the conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Finally, we get to meet you. Who Yeah. We we really we thought who <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. Sure, just kidding. Sure, sure. Sure. <laughs> test yeah, account. Just a wife. Just a wife account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, but how are you doing? Me, I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. Uh yeah. We we shooting next week's episode. It's gonna be a hard episode. Uh, yeah. yeah the lineup is great the lineup is uh it's yeah i'm excited i'm really excited can't wait to be out there we're going to be shooting two days straight yeah and yeah we've spoken to everyone and yeah i'm happy are you happy yeah i'm ready um i know that uh um yeah i know that it's going to be next time I'm, I'll, I'll be sitting on the desk like this i know that we'll be in rtbs that's what a lot of people have been asking for guys you've asked for it you're gonna get it we are rocking next week we're gonna be shooting our rtbs shoot and yeah i'm hoping that we'll also have this mystery man with us there uh, okay it's just it's just for today it's a one-time thing <laughs> you wanna follow us to rtbs uh, mr man 
you are fine. You are fine. Uh, for security reasons. Yeah, that's hard enough for me to be here today. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay guys. So, hey, I don't know if you guys can see me, but today is very different. I feel very yeah. out, out of my element today. Is it why is that? Eh? Because of this. <laughs> Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. In the body cards there, you understand? Now, yeah. next thing, can is palm Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, anyway, uh, are you good? No, I'm well, my brother. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. You know what I'm very curious about is that uh, won't people know who you are when you start mentioning stuff? Which people? Mm. Mm. Hey. Interesting. <laughs> Which people? Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't I, I even really know where cool. to start. I don't even know yeah. where to start. State of the industry. A lot of people were um, quite happy with what we had last week with regards to you know just outlining how how the industry is looking like. So I think uh, having a gentleman like this on the on the show today, I think maybe he 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 can take it to the next level. I think we have. We have made a foundation. We have a foundation yeah. that was put. So you are coming in and then you're going to take us to the next level yeah. now. So just generally going to be thinking about the state of the industry. But not yeah. only that, but as well as solutions that we can bring forth. Yeah. 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 Let's start with brokers. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you can say about <laughs> brokers, <laughs> Mr. Man? Let's, let's start with brokers. Lo- yeah. Local brokers, uh, yeah. specifically local brokers. The reason why I'm saying let's just start there because... I think essentially those are the guys who give us access, supposed access to the market. They, but I think also brokers have also created a lot of the problems that we have today. They've kind of given in to models of the way they run things. So yeah, let's start there. Brokers, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be there always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Yeah, man, I mean, brokers, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, yes, we've seen, we've seen very interesting stuff in, in the country. Yeah. Uh, we've also seen some foul play from brokers uh, in terms of the marketing aspect. Uh, I think from a, from a business point of view, there's nothing really that we can afford them on. But also what they've done is that they've encouraged the bad behavior and the bad habits that are currently there. Mm. You know, and at the end of the game for them, it's just the numbers. Business. Yeah, yeah, it's just the numbers. Business. Yeah, because you know, and, and I think we're talking. Uh, you know, I always feel like, uh, people don't really care whether a broker is a bad broker or not, as long as they get their money back. Or should I say, the IBs don't really care. I think it's people in general. People in general, mm. as yeah. long as you get your money. Yeah, people in general don't care. Mm. I mean, you look at what uh, what's being offered out there, right? There's obviously education that's uh, that's out there to uh, to educate the retail trader about how actually the price, where the price comes from, mm-hmm. uh, how a trade gets executed. Uh, the people don't really give a damn about what's happening. So all they care about is what they can get at the end of the day, uh, like your bonuses and all of that. And if you really dive deep into it and look, is there really bonus? That's out there in the market. The liquidity providers provide those bonuses. Chances are no. Leverage, unlimited leverage, and all of that. I think those type of things people don't really uh, have an interest in learning. You know. So, so you're talking about bonuses right now, you know, because yeah. I think now bonuses became very popular around the the time of uh, JP. Around mm-hmm. that period when uh, obviously came out with the hundred percent bonus, and I, you know, people ate, mm-hmm. people ate. Mm-hmm. But now, what was the actual truth about that bonus? Because I think a lot of us mm-hmm. didn't really understand. Because right now, as an individual, a lot of us thought that, hey, look, if I'm going to deposit a thousand rand in this broker, I'm getting an extra thousand rand. So that means my equity right now is two thousand rand. So there was, was that was that a sense of like I'm able to trade to to withhold uh, to withstand a, a drawdown of two K or no. no if you really look at it you're just exposing your risk. Mm. That will uh like they're basically exposing your risk two times. Yeah. Because at the end of the day the first in the beginning those bonuses were uh, tradable. If you remember you you could blow your account and still put the bonus again. Uh but we all know 90% of the people, or even 98, it's not that easy to do that. 
Right, so it's yes, just an exposure. You're exposing your account to bigger risk. And obviously, at the end of the day, the house will be Yeah. Mm. So that was the thing behind it. Mm. And if, even if you think about it now, I mean, yourself, MJ, do you trade with bonuses? No, 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 I don't. Why not? <laughs> no, no, I don't play with bonuses. No, no, I, <laughs> I never play with bonuses. I think you come to a point where you realize that uh, I, I generally use the, the word marketing too. Like sure. this, this, this industry of us is, is always about what, what is the specific thing that I can market to, to, to get traffic. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't, you, it's, it's even hard to withdraw that bonus. Like, oh. No, but oh. bonuses aren't supposed to be withdrawn. There's some brokers, they, they say ah. you can, yeah. Ah. Apparently, yeah, ah. you can. Um, okay. I had I had a broker, I think it was five six years ago, where I I withdrew it. Ah, yeah, I withdrew it. Wait, did, uh, but wait, not all of it. But did you make profits? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but you didn't didn't you withdraw the profits? The, the profit plus the bonus. Plus the bonus. yeah, <laughs> and I, I received a letter to say that you're not gonna trade with us anymore. So I don't know if it was a it was a bonus of a bonus, you know, <laughs> that don't bonus. come back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a real bonus. But if you look at how bonuses are structured, sure. now, it's obviously you cannot go forward. It's just a tradable bonus. Mm. Uh, but what's going to happen is that you fund a thousand rand, and obviously you want to get two thousand, right? Yeah. And what what you basically do there is that the trades you're going to manage it about based on a two thousand rand account. Mm. So it's obviously if you look at proper risk management, you. You're violating that already. Mm. You know, you're mm. violating that already. So that's the main aim to get people to to think beyond what they have. To to kind of manage risk on that. It's mm. more like a gambling thing. Look at it. Right? It's uh, people fund a thousand rand thinking, okay, I'll have two thousand to trade with. You go put one standard lot and just one trade you're out. Yeah. And yeah. So your thousand rand is, is gone. It's not even going to help you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's no. just that I feel like the brokers should also take responsibility when it comes to uh, educating people about how it works. Mm. Because okay. people have the perception that I put this much, this is how much their broker's going to give me, and then this is how much I can trade. But I think if we have a little bit of investment from the broker side to say that, actually, this is not your money. No, no, it's, it's written. Yeah. Uh, I think also traders need to take the responsibility. Yeah. We all take that box of uh, accept terms and conditions, but we never read the terms and conditions. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the uh, no deposit bonus. Yeah. I know a broker right now, like we mentioned in the HFM, no deposit bonus. will tell you basically you'll get, uh, you get a bonus for registration, mm. but there's terms of that bonus. Mm. There's certain lots that you need to reach in volume, and you cannot, uh, there's a threshold. That you're not allowed to get. Not the, yeah. I think it was something like four hundred dollars or something like that. So if you trade uh, with that deposit, no deposit bonus, and reach four hundred dollars or exceed it, uh, the next step is that you need to meet that the target in volume. Yeah. Once that is done, you cannot get over and above four hundred dollars, and that four hundred dollars will go into a trading account you start trading. With. So there are terms and conditions. I mean, it's just for us to go and read them. I think traders in general, or not just traders, I mean, yourself, when was the last time you read the terms and conditions on our website? Mm. That's but true. But when was the last time you read uh, the the thing if, when you bought a fridge? <laughs> manual. Nobody, the manual. Nobody, nobody reads That's that. That's the thing. So it's, 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 it's a problem everywhere. But even so, with our phones, though, like you just accept everything. You know, it's I agree, I agree, I agree. You don't even know what you're agreeing to. You're agreeing to. So yeah. We cannot really say now uh, brokers are so bad, they need to go and teach people. Stay, the information is. Yeah. If you really take this serious, you'll go and read. I mean, it's like buying a product mm. and not knowing what that product does. I mean, 2020, there was a broker in South Africa. I think, yeah, there was a broker in South Africa. You, you, you know, you still remember the name? Uh, Velocity, something like that. It was a Velocity. Velo was Velocity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 1.6. Velocity <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. they, had, they had a bonus. Uh, they had a bonus uh, account, which before you could withdraw the profits, you needed to reach a specific number of 
money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times people would trade, trade, make profit and request a withdrawal. Uh, I did that as well. Request a withdrawal because I didn't make the conditions. I wasn't, uh, they weren't liable to give me the, the money back. Uh, up until you meet those those targets. So it's really up to the responsibility of the trader themselves to go and read the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are there. Mm. Whether it's a bonus account, whether it's a soft fee account, whether it's uh, any different types of account, there are terms and conditions that we need to uh, read. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah, so I think really when it comes to bonuses, uh, and it it's it's so crucial for people to understand that you know, don't. Yes, it's a bit of like a double edged sword. Sure. When you think about it, because it's like okay, for brokers they're selling to get clients. Now now people are so dependent on bonuses, bonuses. and they feel like if you if the broker doesn't offer a bonus, <laughs> they can't trade they there. Can't trade. Mm. They can't trade there. And you said something about the liquidity provider. Mm. You know, knowing that if you're getting a bonus, just know you're not on. Are you getting sent straight to the A book or not? There's, there's no way. Why do you, how, how can you say that with confidence? There's it no seems way. like you know a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tell us more. Way. Tell yeah. us more, mystery man. Yeah. There's no way. Think about it. Right. MJ, uh, let's just think what sort of analogy can you use. But yeah. here, Remember the concept of LP, right? Yeah. Of liquidity provider. Sure. I think people should need to understand that not every time you make a deposit of 200 rand, the broker takes that 200 rand and then takes it to the liquidity provider. No. The broker already sends the money to the liquidity provider upfront. Mm, mm, right? Mm. They, they basically do that. So every time you deposit into their uh, bank account, it stays with them. They don't have to send it back. Yeah, sure. They've already sent it. Sure. Account, right? And the uh, liquidity providers have certain leverages that they offer on instruments. Okay. Right. So they have those instruments with particular leverages and all of that. So the liquidity provider basically would never, would never give a bonus to a broker. And if the supplier of a product doesn't give a bonus, mm. and I'm the distributor. Where does that bonus come from? I generated, I created that bonus, mm. right? Yeah. And why am I creating this bonus? So that can uh, let you see where you think, look, uh, this broker is doing something for me, mm. right? So like you said at the end of the, in the beginning, just a way to that volume. Okay, but is the, but particularly, how do I ask this? Is there a way of doing bonuses correctly? I mean, it's not all that bad. Yeah, it's, mm. it's not all that bad. It's not all that bad. But depending, if the broker has a billion guest, they can do it correctly. Mm. They can do it correctly. But also remember, guys, that already as is with or without bonus, 90% of the people are losing anyway. Mm. What more with bonus? Mm. If you already are losing on your own, what more with bonus? Yeah. Are we saying uh, having 2,000 rand will make you a better trader than as a person with 1,000 rand? Mm. So, so, yeah, look at those aspects. You still remember um, back in the days, a uh, broker that was giving you 1,500 to trade for free? Which broker? What? Plus, plus five. Was it plus 500? Was it plus 500? You put in your ID, they yeah. give you, yeah, you, 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 you just register yeah. and they give you money to trade. No, it was 1.5, it was 1,500. Okay. Yeah, so you just put in your details and you get 1.5. Yeah. Because I remember it's one of the brokers that I used, you know, to train myself because I had IDs of everyone. Because every time you put in a, an ID, you get 1.5. Yeah, it, it, yeah, there was a broker like that, and it's nowhere to be found now. And <laughs> yeah. we all know why, because you're giving people free money. Yeah. And what, what was nice about it is you could withdraw. Yeah, not, not the 1.5, the, the profits. profits. Okay, yeah, 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 you could withdraw the profits, but the 1.5 stays in. Well, yeah. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it that yeah. way. Yeah. I think, it, no. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with honesty. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just 
if you know how to use it and you learn how to leverage off of bonus, then you you should be fine. Mm. Uh, but if your aim is to go and double a bonus, then a lot of time you won't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> full merchant traders. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you, is, full market, market masters? Yes. Very interesting <laughs> interview, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no. Uh, so we're still on the broker chat. We're still on the local broker chat. Uh, we know uh, we've got <laughs> a lot of local brokers in um, Zanzi. You know, we've got um, no, a, a, a wide list of brokers. I don't even know where to start. Okay, can we actually go back to 20, is it 2021? Uh, JP, what actually happened at JP? Uh, well, I think I've got the same information as you. Okay, uh, I doubt, public, but I think you've got more. No, but yeah. the public information, that, yeah. that same thing, it was all there. Yeah, so yeah. It was just that fact with that one client, and then that, and then with obviously. The manipulation of a chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I mean, uh, we, we got to learn that there was a manipulation of charts, right? And I know that. I think he went back to court, uh, the Supreme Court, and won the case against the FSCA. Mm. Yeah, so I think that that was the case. But uh, I mean, that was one of the biggest books. Yeah, yeah. Books ever hit the country. And mm. if not, that was probably the first popular. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent. And they coming back? Are they? Are, are they, they coming back? They back? Are they back yet? I know they coming back. Yeah. So next They've been saying they come back, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you say about people that say, "Hey, that broker we used to make money with that broker"? <laughs> Why people are saying that? <laughs> it's like when I think with it, it'd be a big money. Oh, okay, so <laughs> it's the it's same. An <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's it's the thing that uh, obviously you get a beginner's luck in trading, and that is that is no. I mean, a lot of the guys were introduced to trading, particularly from that particular platform. Mm. Uh, the JP market platform. So when they started uh, investing themselves into trading markets, they probably got the beginners luck there. And now it's, they stuck with that mindset that that's the only broker we make money on. Mm. I mean, what's the difference between the NASDAQ there and the NASDAQ now? Mm. Mm. Or at NASDAQ at Optum? Yeah. What's the difference? It's a big difference. Is it not having something to do with contract size? Essentially, but what's the difference with market moves? Mm. Is there a difference in how the, the actual instrument moves? Does mm. it mean that JP market move 300 points, Octet moves 50 points? Mm. Mm. So, so, yeah, there's, I really think a lot, of, uh, a lot of traders themselves need to go and learn, but uh, there is obviously a power play that you will find from from Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, let's go. Cool. I want to talk about IBs. Okay. You know, we've seen a lot of stuff come <laughs> over the years and all that. You know, I, I, yeah. okay, are they telling me I must ask you who owns all the local brokers in South Africa? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You can repeat that. What, what did you say? Just yeah, just, just market, just yeah, trade, uh, just, just trade market. owns all the South African brokers. Yeah, I'm just trade. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I think I was just in here. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time to get that, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So with the IBs, you know, we yeah. we've seen over the years that IB businesses have become. Probably one of the methods to be pro- profitable in business in sure. the forex uh, online trading business in South Africa, mm. we've seen that a lot of people are always promoting brokers, always, and nothing wrong with that. I mean, we're also promoting a broker as well, so I think there's nothing wrong with that. But I think now it comes to the foul play. You know, you kind of sure. mentioned the word foul play. Let's talk about some of the foul play we've seen over the years, coming particularly from IBs slash gurus. Yeah, that we've, we've always, I mean, you still see it till today. Mm. We still see it till today. I mean, how many people have been signal groups where a particular AB will send a signal, uh, say, sell NASDAQ or sell whatever instrument it is, but uh, the the actual traders may lose money, and an hour later, he's, he's profitable, making over a million, two million, 
400,000, 500,000, 600,000, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's just a marketing game and that's, that's where a lot of the problems lie, right? I mean, we, we know IBs, let's talk about it, these, these days with the retainer deal that they get from brokers. What, what do a broker would do is pay an IB upfront money so that they can come refer people to you. And already that, that tells you there's no interest of the actual trader or the student if they make it. You know, so, so yeah, it's, it's dirty. The mm-hmm. IB game is dirty. It's actually a good model uh, where people can become millionaires. I've seen, I've seen people that became millionaires doing it legitimately. Uh, but it's just like a referral business, right? What an IB is, is a referral business. Mm. Uh, and there are so many businesses that have affiliate models and stuff. There's mm-hmm. many businesses apart from the Forex industry. And they're doing it correctly. Right? But now what happens is that, obviously, for me to attract you or you, okay, MJ, we can never attract him with, uh, with cars, we can never attract him with Audi. But for me to attract the layman in the street, I have to look successful. Mm-hmm. Right? And if I look successful, they believe what I say. So that's how all these guys are doing it now. They get interest account from brokers. Uh, they lie about the profits they make. I mean, on a test account, the test account shows back in the days we have that real uh, flesh at the corner of the MT4. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, we, we all know that they do fake. Them get a, a test account that says life, but it's not actual mm-hmm. trading account. That does it show like okay so okay yeah I know that real sign it uh, appears on Android phones but yeah. I know on um, iPhones on yeah. on iPhones sure. it shows that server so you, you see that server right there that yeah. what what server mm. so even if it can say that is it, can it still be a test account like show a real yeah. live the broker yeah. can manipulate that how do you set up a test account. <laughs> <laughs> So the broker yeah. can make a real account yeah. a look real like account. a real account, but it's a test account. It's a test account. Yeah. It's generally made for you. Remember. Yeah. Also, another thing is that the money that's this thing is digital. I know one episode that I watched was said banks, everything in the bank is digital. It's digital. Yeah. Right. If I know you're gonna promote a, a business or my business, I can put any figures you want there. Right. Mm. And give you two test accounts where you buy on the other, sell on the other, and then on social media show whichever one is profitable. The market can either go up or down, so mm-hmm. one of them will be profitable, but that's the one you share on social media, and that's what's happening nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, smart way of doing things, smart, mm. but you see, I think <sighs> that we and, and we spoke about is that people end up just believing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That uh <laughs> I just remember the story we were told the other day. People just end up believing yeah. that hey, they actually have that kind of money, whereas they don't really have that kind of money. Mm. Do you know do you know where they get the cars from? I wanted to get yeah. into that. I've I've heard stuff. Me, yeah, I've heard stuff on the streets. So what, hey. Eh? That that brokers eh? they buy cars for I pe- apparently there's a specific someone who gives traders cars. Talk yeah. just like that. Ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a seat. <laughs> just like that. Huh? I also want that. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, but the thing is, I think what I'm really curious about is yeah. that what is the arrangement in that case? I mean, look, it's, it's obvious. Uh, what, what are people attracted to? Mm. Right? And a, what would a car do? Create attraction, right? It attracts people. It attracts numbers. Is it necessary? Numbers, okay. Mm. Why is it that? I mean, I'm just going to ask a question. I know, uh, okay, I know uh, that the company has been in a signal group. How long ago was it? Yeah. yeah how long ago was it? Yo, yeah. at a Zig signal group and... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. Though, I, pay, yeah. I paid money for that, and then I was hurt. Uh, it was in uh, 2019. Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was cold, just before cold. I was working at Thingy. I was working at Affinity Health. 
at least they didn't quit their job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but you were there in 2019. What made you stop? Ah, uh, because I went to his Telegram. I went to his Instagram. Yeah. I matched everything. No ah, correspondence. Zero. Zero correspondence. Mm. Some days it would match. Some days it wouldn't match. Because obviously, you know, yeah. at, it's, it's 50-50. At some oh. point, you know, it will. <laughs> yeah. it's like gambling. At some point, yeah. you know, you will land there. Especially if you're flipping a coin 10 times. You won't get. You pro- chances are you won't get hit 10 times in a row. Mm. So obviously, sometimes it would match the buys, the sells and whatnot. But when you go deep because you know how telegram uh, gives you the history mm, mm. uh all the past trades and then yeah just kept going up kept matching trades i was like no ways is this guy pay so, is this guy posting a payday every day and then mm. yeah <laughs> so are you saying i just want to make sure that i, I hear you correct you're saying on instagram maybe you have buys on telegram send a signal of myself. Yeah, that, well, I'd see it happen. Like, because I was yeah. in the group, I'd see, yeah, I'd sell. I'd tell my boy, yeah. hey, today we're selling. Hey, go to Instagram. He's posting a buy there. Yeah. yeah. So already that, that already tells you uh, the type of deals they have with the broker. Did he refer you to a particular broker? Uh, not at that, uh, not at that time, but yeah. obviously we were trading with, yeah. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> so i want to understand something here do you do do you think there is um a mafia broker owner here in south africa because i know when we go to the banking industry we know there are certain people that owns that industry yeah. they manipulate that industry sure. when we get to automotive in south africa we know there are people who own so when it comes to local brokers south african brokers yeah is it true that this one person who owns almost 95% of all South African brokers? Yeah, that's true. It's obvious. It's one uh, person. Yeah, it's obvious. If it's not, maybe it's got a... What do you call that? Like, but he's involved. He's the mastermind of it. Okay. Ask yourself this. Look at these IB, this particular famous Instagram trader, right? Yeah. A few months ago or some, a few years ago, there were... Uh, they're promoting one broker, and the broker has turned around. I know most of them are promoting VOD, right? And they move from VOD to and VOD with other things. And then, if you look also at the registrations of those companies, okay, um, <laughs> um, there is someone, I think there is one, mm. one individual that owns. So, is it the what labeling matter or what? So, yeah, it's one thing. Yeah, but when you look at the licenses, they kind the of from, licenses tell you. but they're kind of from different areas or different under different people. Is it just a matter of like he just has enough financial capital to mm. be able to put different people in different positions? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at also with these IBs, I mean the IBs will give you, look at the IBs, look at the truth. Okay, there's a particular group of IBs that were sitting in a restaurant on social media the one time all promoting different brokers with that one individual in, on Instagram to run a club. Okay. So. Mm. Interesting. Who, who owns what? <laughs> Let's see. I but, also don't know. Who owns what? I don't know. I mean, we knew that the owners of, uh, we knew the owners of Veracity. Yeah. Yeah, who owns what? Yeah, but was was that not thingy? Yeah, they talk about Veracity. Was that not uh same person? Because there, there was a misconception. There was, uh, I don't want to call it misconception. Who's the same person you talk about? The one who oh, owns vaults. The one that owns. Uh, I don't know. When I knew, I knew Shirley. Yeah. yeah. And I said, so did you say Shirley owns? No, I don't know. Mm, okay. <laughs> I knew Shirley owns. <laughs> now I had rumors. <laughs> now, now what I know is that I had rumors that the person who owns RCG yeah. owns vault. Mm. owns AccuMarkets, mm. owns oh, somewhere somehow connected to the person who owns 3245. Mm. 3245 is owned by Kurt Paulson. So it doesn't who happens to have the same surname as? Justin. Ah, no, I didn't say it. No, I didn't say it. 
I know he owns JP Buckets. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so 20 for 5 is owned by Kurt or something, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So they're not related? They're brothers. Oh. Are you not related to the CEO? <laughs> <laughs> the money group. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I, well, yeah. I, it's crazy though. Yeah. It's crazy though. But I guess I. Yeah. Mm, mm, I, it's trick. Interesting. Very it's interesting. It's a very interesting operation and it's just playing in front of our eyes and only few people get it. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. why people now yeah. are scared of losing local brokers. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Sure. But people are, but but people still are using them. I, I I know I had a actually I had a DM the other day from I was just talking to someone. Uh he had just uh he was trading news. Uh my first question to him was was it a local broker? That's all I asked. And he says he placed the he placed it so just during uh was it NFP? That was just the reason NFP. Uh he placed uh zero point tens. He placed the trades, but he was using on the chart side. So he placed the chart uh, on the chart side, 0.10s, they didn't appear. And then he went back to the, you know, where it shows the money, and there was nothing there. But when he goes back the other side, he places an extra 10, uh, 10, uh, two 10s, because he thought the, the, the market didn't, um, but uh, the trade didn't go through. Only to find out that when he goes back the other side, there's no money left in the account. When he goes back to the history, Sure. Now, money gone. Yeah. Which broke was that? Vault. Yeah, it was. was it? Yeah. And the money went to the vault. <laughs> 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 yeah, was, I mean, there was also one one event I attended. I was a student there. Uh, we were all trading in the vault. Mm. Where the mentors were giving a signal. And we took the trades. Everybody was happy. But we couldn't close. When the mentor says, okay, guys, close, nobody can close. The, the platform's closed. Mm. Yeah, I know some people didn't get their money back. Is, 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 platform, is platform freezing a thing? Yeah, it happens. No, it's like, it, what do you mean it happens? I mean, I'm asking, is it a thing? As, as the owners of the broker. Oh, and we, during news events? Yeah. Ah, no, it is. It is. So it is owners every... actually like be like, okay, now well, today uh, we're freezing at a specific time. I really wish I had friends there, but I, I think so. And why do I say that? I mean, there's a particular broker. I mean, K245 is famous for off calls. Yeah. Uh, during these events. Why is that? And you still find people trading there. So, who mustn't go and complain and say, it's, I don't think all local brokers are bad. Mm. Uh, yeah, now, now and then you've got, I mean, I've also had issues with IC markets. Mm. So, because the reason why I'm saying platform freezing is a thing because mm. it's a technology mm. based, right? Anything can happen, servers and all of that. Uh, but if there's a frequency and a certain pattern, mm. that, that raises an alarm. I mean, every, every news event is off course. Mm. Mm. And we, really, I think traders themselves cannot. But needs to stop. It's like you go buy clothes at a, a cheap shop and you complain about local manufacturers who produce cheap stuff. No, it doesn't work. There are local shops that produce quality. Mm. Okay. Uh, but because that one is cheap, you want to trade it. And when they do off quotes, it's like all local brokers are bad. I don't think. I don't think. It's more like I this think. thing all men are trash. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you think everyone is is or you yeah. think we are part of? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 But, but that's the thing. I mean, you've seen that happen many times. I mean, even just now, I know what's that guy. Um, this funny chap. This is Manando. What? Yeah. Yeah. Manando the goat always exposes the uh, trade to go for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, like, it was a couple of times, mm. and to find these people trading, uh, who are they going to play? Mm. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> but I know also there is terms and conditions when it comes to news events that the particular broker Yeah, yeah, that's mm. true. Right, and you want to accept that. 
But you see, again, uh, Mr. Mystery Man, when I, you know, coming back to the education, I know for some point, yes, we uh, traders they have to, um, traders have to take responsibility yeah. of reading the terms and conditions. But if you also look at it this way, even when you sign a lease, you sign a contract. Yeah. Um, at times, a lawyer or an agent wouldn't just throw you that and say just click and just sign. They would at times, you know, take the effort to go through it with you. Because there's certain things you wouldn't, especially if it's 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 on a digital f- platform. And we have people like IBs that are always getting money retainers and all that. And these are the people that should be utilized. You say, okay, guys, we, we, your responsibility as well, as much as these people are signing up for bonuses and, 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 and at some point we are providing a bit of education to say, let me go through this with you. If it's a numbers game, you accept you know, close to 20,000. Yeah. How much is a business? How much resource do you need to go and educate each and every? But it doesn't, it, it doesn't have to have like a specific budget to it. I mean, we're just talking about few clauses there that we can summarize and say, just so you know, bonuses are the, the same way we say trading carries a certain risk. Yeah. And we can put a the disclaimer there. But then the moment you go and read that, you want to say that's what? So it's bad for business, in other words. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the answer I was waiting for. <laughs> it's bad for business, then. Yeah. It's bad for business. It's bad for business. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. We're still we're still on the IBs because I think I feel mm. like it's. Uh, yeah. So I was asking. Okay. So what? <laughs> what are some of the things that uh, IBs? Like I'm saying, we're still on the. What did I say earlier on? Bad. I used the. the there's a term I used earlier on. But some of the bad, let me just go, some of the bad things that traders have done, now, IBs, IBs slash gurus, yeah. I've seen that they have left you like, yeah, no, actually, <laughs> just to knock people, yeah. you've seen, guy. Yeah. No, we've seen, we've seen them being exposed, uh, and it still continues, mm. it still continues, and to be honest, it's going to continue, mm. uh, because we give them the power, right? Uh, an IB can come tell us that a particular broker allows this. We don't go and read the terms and conditions, but we just believe what he says mm. and go for it. Uh, all for what? Because we want signal. Like we said, on Instagram, we are seeing those mm. every week. Mm. There's those. Right? Uh, so, so it's going to continue. Find an IV with a group of 10,000 people, and you ask yourself, okay, if some of the people have joined since 2020, using their signals, why is it that it's 10%, let's say 1%, of the people in the group not achieving the same things he mm-hmm. achieves or the same results. So due diligence we don't do. We don't yeah. do due diligence. We we just sold and it's our fault. Let's 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 be honest. Mm. It's our fault that if somebody fools you once, it's okay, they fool you twice. Mm. Mm. How many groups, if I may ask you now sitting at home, how many groups are you in at the moment? Zero. Zero. No, he's talking about he's talking to people that are that are watching from home. Not even one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but because you're exposed to certain information. Right? Yeah. But the uh, the layman on the street, how many how many signal groups are you in? Yeah. How many times have you found that your key mentor says buy and then the other signal group says sell on the very same page? Mm. What mm. do you do? You still go back. And pay for services and Mark. expect that <laughs> a miracle will happen. A lot of, a, too many people are in free groups. Yeah. Let me tell you what. I do often. I still do till today. I pay VIP signals just to go and see the funny things that are happening out there. Mm. Mm. I mean, they cheat now, bro. It's under the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know a friend of mine used to take the opposite direction of uh, that chart. Yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine used to go, he was in that signal. And every time he sends a signal, he says, buy, you take a sell and profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that already tells you what's, what's happening. But RIB, RIB is deliberately um, giving um, in, incorrect signals to people. Is it incorrect? It's it's hard to say a signal is correct or incorrect. Because oh. anything can happen in the market. Yeah. But they, am I saying all IBs are bad? No, I'm not saying that. Mm. Right? But there's a group of people that have influence and go buy IB from uh, signals from MJ. 
Yeah. And I posted that to their copy, copy and paste. Mm-hmm. By the way, guys, it's an example. I don't sell signals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see, it's an example. If you buy signals from MJ, and I know I've got influence, I've got marketing abilities, I've got a, a certain community of people. I can sell them signals from MJ. Right? Mm. Uh, I can also, depending on the deal that I have with the broker, from this, I mean, you know, they are PL deals, PL profits and losses. What does that mean? Is that if I introduce a certain uh, group of clients, mm. and obviously for them to be profitable, they need they need to make money, mm. right? So the, they they basically make profit from the broker. Then I would make money as an IB because it's positive. But when they lose, yes, I make money there. You see, when they lose, I make money. So that's a mm. PNL deal. So there's different types of deals. You've got yeah. your retainer deals. Uh, you've got your CPA deals. Mm. Retainer is just a clarified system. Mm. Uh, you've got your normal volume based deal, which is just a normal one. I would say it's normal mm. standard one. And then you've got your PNL deal. A PNL means if you bring a book value of a million and these guys lose. Maybe seven hundred thousand for the broker profit. Or oh, yeah, if it's PNL, it's purely based on the that broker makes seven hundred thousand. Split that seven hundred. Yeah. So the broker will take the costs, carry all the costs. Yeah, they will carry all the costs. Uh, but obviously, if I'm on a PNL deal as an IB, my aim for me to make money is on my clients. Mm, so okay. what would I do? Send a couple of signals here and there. And also people themselves. I mean, so where will the signals be coming from? From the the influencer, the trader, or it will be coming straight from the broker in which you no, have a PNL deal with? No, I think it comes from the influencer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. The broker brokers don't have time. I mean that that particular guy we're talking about, or even the big four five guy, does he have time to go look at all these accounts and see who's who's it? Yeah. He doesn't have time to generate a signal, mm. right? He doesn't have time to, he's, he's running a business and his business is fine. I'm not saying he's running it uh, with the intention of, uh, or malicious intention, no. He doesn't have time for that. So who has time for that? Influence, who's going to benefit? Right, if I bring in, like I said, if I bring in a million for the 70, 30 split, and a thousand. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so I know we're always saying hey, IPs, hey, IPs do clients wrong, but can we talk about instances of uh, do IPs do brokers wrong? Because, yes. yeah, because, <laughs> because, no, but it's true though, they ruin, they've ruined such a good thing. Because I, yeah. I know I've had, I've, I've spoken to a few people where we spoke about the retainer deals. Retainer deals are like genius, they yeah. so good because right now you, you get paid certain amounts of money let's say uh, for instance uh you get the brokers like hey look uh we see you have a following you see we've got influence we'll give you 50k a month fifty thousand rand a month yeah. and these are real things guys we don't we're not kidding like people are <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and now it's like okay you're gonna get that but you need to you're rendering a service to the broker you're not just now stay giving you 50k just to say hey, trade with Mm. But you also need to convert clients to them and whatnot. So mm. they're just paying you knowing that in the long run, they're yeah. supposed to benefit from that. But unfortunately, yeah. we came to a point now where hey, I'm, a, I'm accepting 50K from this broker. I'm accepting 50K from this broker. All yeah. within the same month. <sighs> yeah, we arbitrage. see a lot of that. Arbitrage. It's arbitrage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see <laughs> All yeah. within the same month. And yeah. you know very well that that one, you were just knocking those ones. Mm. And knowing very well that, hey, you're going to keep pushing the numbers for this particular broker. And this broker, you were just there to cut the check and leave. Because mm, uh, yeah. some, I guess sometimes a lot of them want up, upfront up payments, payment, yeah. which I, it's not an issue. But the issue comes when the service is not being delivered. Okay, I go to a job interview. Uh, they accept me at this company to pay me my salary. Right. Does it happen? No. Mm. So, as a business person, I will be willing to take the risk knowing that MJ has mm. he has influence, right? I'll take that risk. Okay. 
It serves those brokers right. <laughs> mm. Somebody was also in charge of it. Yeah. But but you see that's that's the nature of it. That's the nature of it. Uh uh it serves the IBs right when their businesses are gone in the long long run. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they'll never be sustainable. Mm-hmm. Uh because what are also these these tricks to the stem. If I own a business and you're an influencer, right? What I will do is that I'll give you a retainer that's so high that no other competitor of mine will afford to pay you. Mm. So I beat themselves, then I say to you, they are stupid. Mm. You are in a mask, don't worry, man. Yeah, yeah. No, they are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. see, why am I saying that? Yeah? Is I start the business, but right? I've got this business, I'm going to give you the uh, 100,000 a month. I know none of my competitors want to that. Okay. So you start living based on that hundred thousand, mm. right? Now I know very well that you can never go to any competitor of mine that will give you the same deal. So basically, I owe you. Okay. You depend it on me. So if I say to you, bring clients, let's get them to me. You do it because nobody else is going to give you that hundred k. Now you are depending on that hundred. Short side. Mm. Right, so it serves the IB right that they kill them, but it's That's just so sad right. that uh, the general public, uh, the general public gets sacrificed. But in a way, I'm just yeah. trying to be sensitive to the general public, but it also serves them a little bit, right? Because yeah. we're people that are offering good, uh, good courses, right? Good information, but they they never follow. The scammers' cues are only wrong, and the, the the guys that are that that are scammers. I mean, you had one guy on the show, I think, that spoke about he used to do, he used to scam. If you ask that guy now that he's doing things the right way, the numbers he pulled back then and now don't match. Mm. He was able to pull more numbers then mm. uh, than now. Yeah. Mm. Right. So, so that's. That's how it goes. Mm. Craziest <laughs> retainer deal. Yeah. Uh, do you know of any uh, retainer deals? Some of the craziest retainer deals you've heard of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got a friend that this is 200,000 or 100,000. 100? Yeah, 100,000. But uh, I believe it's much more than that. Mm. Yeah, some uh, get cars. <laughs> mm. Cars. Like you're talking about cars, but what kind of cars? A car is a car. No, you can't get a Ford Fiesta, no. Oh. When you're going to pull with the Ford Fiesta. <laughs> can't sell cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, yeah, any, any questions from people? You mean which people? The people in the studio or yeah. you talking to the viewers? <laughs> the I bosses, mean... my <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we, we spoke about brokers, spoke about IBs. Uh, okay, so what are your 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 overall thoughts on the industry right now, the forex industry right now in the SA? Yeah, the industry in a nutshell is is growing. Uh, however, we are getting people that are that are being thrown off prematurely. Okay, right, you're getting people that really get to a point where they think that forex doesn't work or trading doesn't work. Which is not the case. It's only a matter of how you were introduced to it and a certain of information you're exposed to. Right? There's mm. a lot of good information that's out there. Uh, that trading can really change your life. Right? Uh, yeah. But it's, it's dirty, man. Mm. To be honest. Yeah. It's very dirty. Yeah. It's very dirty. Because every single day, the very same guys are scamming yeah. everybody not. And I say the word scamming. Uh, in a sense that they falsely selling some things to them. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, you'd be very surprised how many people quit on daily basis in this industry. Yeah. yeah. It's quite a lot. I have a friend who has a book. Um, I think I told you about this. I have a friend who has a book um, that has like 400,000 people. Yeah. And you know what he said to me? Most of them have quit. Mm. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Imagine 400,000 people. Mm. Most of them quit. quit. Mm. So you was can imagine. Yeah, he, he yeah. was. He, he, he was uh, IB slash back office. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit naughty, that guy. So, yeah. So with that, uh, I, 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 I saw it. I'm not talking about somebody who just comes and claims. Mm. The way he, 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 he has a spreadsheet on him. Like every month, he has a number. Like January, I've got 50,000 people. February, I've got 20,000 people. Most of these people quit. Mm. And it was quite sad to see that. Yeah. It was, it was quite sad. Yeah, it's very sad. How many times, I mean, myself, when we start trading, we think we're going to be millionaires by in three months. Mm. Yes, you find myself, I, I trade in a particular season, I maybe make 50, 80, or even 100,000. Mm. And you start trading in when the conditions of the market have changed. And you think, because it took me three months, not even considering which season was mm-hmm. what has happened mm-hmm. that's saying ah that's that case this thing of people saying that's the pay that's that you pay uh, that. <laughs> understand why there's volatility in the market mm-hmm. that you only make money on volatility mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. you can't trade a pay that's changing and go compare to the pay that's trending yeah yeah yes. sure so so yeah. that num- number one that's the reason why people quit, people come with high expectations. So uh, have very high expectations about trading, but also they were sold that that concept. But how do we fix that? This this platform, to be honest, needs to be on a national uh, broadcasting and go beyond the internet. I think we deserve we don't have no? today we nah, don't have no, it's been quite yeah. serious yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, no today it's offline it's offline <laughs> <laughs> baby <laughs> yeah I did it <laughs> yeah so what, what I say that is that like yet again if, if top trader SA can start all of a sudden can start showing off cars and stuff just to the valuation will increase that is true that is so true that's so true yeah. you see the valuation will increase mm. just to uh, but if that's obviously if you didn't care about people, mm. but because guys like you generally care, always providing proper information, that's why you find it's growing at low steady growth mm. compared to somebody that's got a podcast going houses, mansions, and all those things, yeah. Yeah. So, so guys, if you had this, um, if you're connected to somebody who's connected to somebody, or your uncle is connected to somebody, yeah. please make sure to put us on the national platform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. But in a nutshell, people need to start taking a uh, proper due diligence. Mm. Follow the right channels. A lot of information everywhere. You know? So, so yeah. Yeah, sure. Do you have people? Do you have people that, uh, as much as we're talking about brokers, mentors, IBs, do you have people that you personally, or you can say like, these are people that I I genuinely feel like they are proper, they pro they they producing proper stuff, and they are genuine in what they do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, but no. Yeah. Not hard. even one. No, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Top five? Top five. I've seen traders connect. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, a okay. Disciple. Yeah. Yeah, no, you can leave it at traders connect. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there is a lot. Yeah. A lot of guys are not doing uh, the right thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them in unknown guys. Yeah. On what's the TikTok? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and they're not known at all yeah so would 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 you uh, mention any scammers to say the scammers is tough but to say shady deals is okay uh that's eight yeah 100 uh very shady uh very shady uh but at all I mean, a lot of them come to, yeah, let's, I would say let's eat my number one. Yeah. Uh, Marco. Yeah. Yeah. I find him. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is he still around? I don't show the beast. Yeah, no, he's still around. He's still around. Who is your friend? Thanks. <laughs> your friend. <laughs> 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 I don't mm. see him as well. Yeah. 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 Mm. 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 There's a lot of shady. I'm not saying they're scammer. Shady. Okay. Shady. To say somebody's a scammer. Is... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I find it. They just say Mainly yeah. because I've been in their groups and I've seen yeah. that they lie. Mm. Oh, no. okay. so you're not talking from a point oh. of I had, you're talking from mm. a point of I've been there, it was yeah. that I'm a victim, so you're actually yeah. a victim of all this. Just, uh, no, I take responsibility, I'm not a victim, but I've seen it, I've yeah. paid, oh, that's I'm so afraid to yeah. be in Joash's book, yeah, yeah, I've paid to be uh, one month, every person, or not, with the sins, but maybe it's because we don't understand how he trades, so. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but people need to stop this whole thing of signals, 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 and all of that. Start learning how to, to trade. Mm. But it takes time. Education takes time. Mm. All the people want this money. Now is December. It's only money that we want. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you know, people are gonna think, okay, I need to start uh, an education program of forex. Then how long will it take me? December is no. just around the corner. And you wanna eat now. And you wanna eat. Then people come um, on this platform. They're talking about ten years in the game. Hey. It's been hard, and you're yeah. like, yeah, hey, now it's not even two days in the game. <laughs> How long will it take me? I would say the, the fastest way is to get a signal and just make money. Yeah. Uh, no, I just understand. Yeah. You're trying to get nutrients from instant products. You're not. Yeah. You're not going to get anything mm. is not nutrients. So what, what, what is your advice to the people to say, guys, this is how you should approach this industry? A very close friend of mine uh, told me that they, they, they fix a room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The routine is very important. Uh, a lot of the times, people open the chat at any given time and they think. Mm, right. Mm, mm. A lot of the times, people come who made US thirty payment, who made less than payment. Yeah. Right. Uh, at some point, you just need KPY was the hottest thing under the sun. Yeah. But nowadays, it's in. You see, but people don't have the routine, so hence why you can just jump on. Mm. If Tomorrow I can come and say TTSA index. Everybody will jump on mm. because of how much money. So people need to start having a routine, uh, start taking it like a business, uh, have a routine, understand the instruments you're trading, learn them. It's quick to learn the instrument mm. stuff. Mm. Right? Learn the instrument, know when it's volatile, when it's not. Don't go trading the NASDAQ. Um, or don't understand mm. just know the instrument you're trading and when it's volatile and then look with the method that you have or the strategy that you're using to see if you can build good results at a particular time okay yeah and okay. still also take responsibility going to somebody's signal services uh you don't get the results you expected fine not their fault yeah not their fault i mean <laughs> time to and also, we create, we're making it difficult. Mm. We're making it difficult. Think about it. If it was you, you're providing signals. What is going to happen if you send a signal in the morning that's lost? Obviously, because for reputation uh, purposes, you're going to want to send a, same, a better signal on the very same day. Mm. So, what does that do? Instills the same stream. Mm. Right? So, yeah, and people stop taking <laughs> cheap signals. <laughs> yeah, and it also goes down to uh, I was saying earlier on, uh, when uh, when you talking about cheap signals, uh, also cheap mentorship as well. You know, because you you think that someone offering um, mentorship five years back for ten k, now they're offering it for five hundred rand, because. Mm. Mm. What's supposed to happen, the value of the thing supposed to go up. Up. Not and the price keeps coming down. So it's like seasonally you know, though. Eh? Even seasonally. <laughs> On Fridays it's cheap. <laughs> but, but, but my man said, yeah, that hey, when they don't have money, that's yeah. when you see the promos. <laughs> yeah, but it, it shows that there was never value in the course in the first place. Yeah. Because if there was value by now it would it would have doubled. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
They, but again, it also goes down to the fact that you find that uh, the whole industry, you know, industry standards kind of just dropped. Yeah. So now you have to also adjust, you know. But I've seen certain people refuse to adjust and their prices did this. Yeah. Because they were like, ah, I'm not chasing clients and the ones who come, who come, will actually get value for it. And their prices just went up. I've seen a few, very, very few people. Yeah. But then again, yes, the, the whole industry just kind of did this yeah. and everyone was like, hey, we need to make money. We need to adjust. So yeah. what is everyone selling their course at? Yeah. 500 now ish maybe one thousand five. five yeah nah. yeah wow wow you understand now yeah. it's like that that adjustment right there it doesn't mm. correlate with your years in the industry right now because yeah. your years in the industry clearly and and you know people like saying that hey look i've been training for 10 years my time is precious but mm. then you're going to sell a course for 500 ah yeah. don't come play here yeah. but like, it, i think it goes back to the value as well yeah uh, if you if you look at economic cars and you you compare them to lamborghini ferrari mm. uh, all these exotic cars they don't they, they they don't care about how many toyotas will come out in a month and how cheap they're gonna be yeah. they don't care about that their yeah. price tag will remain the same because mm. they know that and 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 i think in this industry or any business for that matter uh you make money when you have good customers because generally good customers are going to refer you to other yeah. people so to show that there was never value, we depend too much on social media to advertise. But really, if you've got a good product with you, there are some people they don't have billboards in their offices because they know I get my money via referral. Mm. I don't need to advertise every now and then, every Friday. Black Friday is coming, by the way. You will see Black, <laughs> Black Friday is coming. You will see price dropping. So, you know, going back to the example of Toyota and Lamborghini, um, they know that we have a certain target market. I think when we also start, that the problem that we have as mentors as well is that when we start this business, we don't understand the dynamics of target market. Mm. That there are certain people I'm targeting. And if you're going to come and want to pay me 500, look, I'm just going to tell you that there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that you're not in my league. Mm. There are certain people that I'm targeting and you're not. And also understanding as well, the relationship between supply and demand. We normally talk about supply and demand on the charts, but to run a business as well, it's a supply and demand. The more customers I have, then I'm, I'm basing it on quantity. If I have a lot of customers, then I, maybe I can make a bit of price adjustment because I know I've got a certain um, quantity that is coming. As well as supply. If you know that I cannot... Okay, myself, for instance, I know that I cannot be there all the time. So my supply is limited. So sometimes when supply is limited, price goes up. Mm. That's why hand sanitizer was expensive during COVID because of the supply. Eggs. Yeah. Eggs are expensive right now. Why? The supply, right? They can't supply eggs. The suppliers cannot supply eggs. So retailers will what? Let's make our price a bit expensive because uh, where are you going to get it? You might as well have chickens in your house and figure it out. How long will it take, will it take to, to start buying chickens and have like, you, you understand? So I think, I think it's a matter of people don't understand um, business in general that you don't have to adjust your price because of somebody went to 500 and, the, you know, the, the, in the people are coming in with cheap prices. If you really know and you understand that I provide value in what I do, mm -hmm. keep the price, even go up, mm -hmm. like you said. Yeah. And also what? What, what makes it a lot uh, challenging, right? You do find people that are not, how can I put it, that uh, are not making a lot of money trading, but the information is so good, mm -hmm. right? And unfortunately, our, our lessons don't the value of the information based on what clothes you are wearing. Mm. If I'm wearing um, in a cell, proper information, mm. right? Uh, so that's how they get. That's how they get them. So the peers, they look rich. So you think that the information is rich? Guess what? All it is. I think it's bad. No cover, no dog. You know. Mm. So uh, a lot of the times, that's what happens to, uh, to the individual uh, is that they they go chase mentors or other these influences put them there. Uh, this influence is because they look rich, mm. so they think the information will make them rich. Mm. And chances are, no, it's not the case. Yeah. So before you choose 
and is the truth. Don't judge the individual. Don't judge by that. Mm. Right? Before you choose this, you should go judge. Mm. Yo. Hey. And maybe utilize also the, the, the platform. I know they can be manipulated. Uh, platforms like uh, Trustpilot. Yeah. But but in South Africa, how many mentors are on Trustpilot? How many mentors are on Trustpilot? <laughs> you have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, extremely few. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's how um, sometimes bad reviews grows your business. Especially if you're taking it in a, in a form of, it's not yeah. negative, but mm. it is to give them what they want. Yeah. Um I know I have I have trust pilot. Mm. Um for people I always tell my clients if you're not happy with my service please review me rate me on trust pilot so that I can improve. Yeah. But how many mentors are on trust pilot? The, all the all the all the uh, rev, uh what they call this reviews on Instagram which can be self. <laughs> yeah, you can see to Andy Manu commented the, the, I I I got the uh, best the uh, thing uh, course ever and yeah. Also, to be honest, the reason why I don't want to mention names and stuff, trust you me, guys, the more names you mention, the more traffic you generate for the individual. Ah, mm. oh, that's powerful. That's true. Free marketing. That's, that's and true. we are not because about that. This is in ENCA. So, ask yourself, yeah. there's a lot of scam uh, exposures and stuff, right? Every time on YouTube, when you guys are local, right? Yeah. Exposing these things. Find that particular videos over 20,000 views. How are these same very mentors that were being exposed able to still pull a thousand clients? Mm. Mm. There's no such thing as bad publicity at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 No, great chat. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Last thoughts. Last thoughts. Education and leadership. Mm. Yeah. yeah education and so, leadership let's take responsibility and let's try to see if we can have leaders in the industry mm. uh, and I think what, what you guys need to do is that uh, we need to start investing in feminists as a, as a uh, look for your community mm. and you've got a very you play a very important role in educating people yeah. right? the main purpose of this seminars that you're going to be hosting not to expose, but to uh, to expose the, the dirty uh, tricks that are out there. A lot of people will benefit. Right? So think about it. It's not true. They say, uh, yeah. have a seminar and give us, these traders give us, uh, they just give us waters, but also give us some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're giving away too much information. Uh, by the way, I, um, I know I've got a I've got a seminar on the 18th of um, November. Oh, yeah. You've got a master class. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you should attend. Definitely. With your bodyguards that you have there. <laughs> yeah, 18th of uh, November. I've got a master class in uh, 155 West in Sentin. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, guys, please join us. Hopefully, TTSA will be there. Yes. It's gonna be nice. 18, 18. 18 November, yes. 155 West in Santin. That's when I'm gonna have a master class. But you can always check out our social media pages to find out more about the times and all that. And we don't need you to bring money or anything. It's free, guys. Entrance is free. Oh, and thank you by the way for subscriptions. Yeah, 200. Uh, 200, 200 uh, subscribers. Where is beep, 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 beep? I'll do it myself. It's fine. Um no, I don't want you to cut it off there. Yeah, I miss this. If I don't hear this, I feel like we haven't started with the podcast. <laughs> yeah, 200 uh, subscribers, guys, for my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks to Top Trader South Africa, guys. Um, I got to tell you this. They also encouraged me to have this channel and, you know, grow it myself. So, yeah, thank you to TTSA, the CEO, uh, Mr. Tembani here as well. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for encouragement, guys. Um, I'm learning uh, a lot. I've got a powerful production team. Always yeah. I'm learning something new. And uh, for Top Trader South Africa, we're sitting on 74,000. What? Yeah, I think it's 74,000. I don't know. Not 74,300. I monitor <laughs> these things. <laughs> <laughs> Road to 100,000, guys, Basically, please. Yeah. Road to 100,000. After Hartis, 
I know we will be expecting <laughs> <laughs> something will move there. Hundred yeah. percent. So yeah, we'll see you then, guys. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, the, the channel is gonna bring some new stuff, uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be interesting, man. No, 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 no. We're, no, no. There's no mentorship. There. There's no mentorship there. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. It's myself, Mbiti Mbali, with my amazing co-host, MJ Givens Kasi. All right. See you guys next time.